Welcome back on Dynamo, today I want to propose you the unboxing and the first impressions about the box of Sepulchre Guard, about Warhammer Shadow Shadespire, the expansion of the, the, the Sepulchre Guard. This is an interesting box, I remember you that this is a box that you can buy separately, so it's an expansion. Here, while it, uh, the box uh, rotates, you can see that uh, what there is inside, that there is the accompanyable skeletons, the cards itself, and the game generally that you can play. Inside here there are only the models and the cards, so if you want to play the game that it's based on a skirmish game on the table, on a, a table that has a different way to play on, you have to buy the Shadow Spire box uh, itself. Anyway, here in the back you can see the seven models that are inside the this box itself and the cards that are inside. Sincerely, for the models, I suggest you to buy, but for the rules that are for the models to play in Age of Sigmar, you can find the rules on the site itself of the Games Workshop, but I don't suggest you to use them in the game itself. And now we can start to open the box itself, and inside here you can find that there is a small box where black box where there are the miniatures itself that you can see here in a white uh, plastic ones it's not really bad it's a different color from the usual ones but uh, it's not bad you can also try to paint it directly on it but i don't suggest you to do it i prefer to use a primer anyway and here you can see the details of the models and as the model itself are put in the way that some of them can be substituted the basis itself. Others, you can see the holes on the basis, so you have to monetize or to glue them, but anyway it uh, matches perfectly so you don't have any problem about using this. I yet started to mount and paint one of them anyway, and here you can see the manual of how to mount the model itself. I suggest you to see it because it's interesting to have how to mount the different parts of the models but also it's a way to have a suggestion how to personalize and as other models to have a mix of these with the normal skeletons because are perfectly compatible. And then inside here you can find the cards that there are inside. There are two boxes of cards inside here for creating the deck for Age of Sigma Shadespire. In the first you can find the abilities uh, of the cards and in the second you find the commands uh, and uh, the rules uh, for the models set that you play and are in this box. And inside the box uh, we can see how it's shaped the box uh, itself uh, that has two holes uh, where you can put the cards itself uh, and then the models uh, that are inside. These models are really not bad and this is the principal reason why I bought them. Cause, cause uh, they are perfectly suited to be used as champions for the skeleton warriors ones or as uh, white kings uh, for the models cause uh, they are really nice uh, and I think that more to, than playing them for Shadow Spire I use them uh, to play in the role uh, in Age of Sigmar itself uh, as uh, playing models uh, to use them. So I think anyway they are the best part are the models and the use itself of this box. And now we can put uh, away the first part of this video that is the models uh, and uh, concentrate ourselves on the deck, uh, the first part of the deck uh, that is uh, the cards itself. Here you can see the different cards that are inside here. Sincerely, I don't think uh, that it's bad as deck, but anyway, don't play in it uh, regularly. I haven't yet uh, decided if it's really competitive as the Games Worship has uh, said that there is this game, because I want to remember you that the Games Worship say that the Shade Spire game is a way to have a competitive game the, of, the, of these models and uh, in this case, anyway, it's... Uh, nice for the ones that want to start because uh, uh, the boxes has uh, nice models, uh, particular ones uh, and has uh, 
a sort of uh, introduction using really little forces uh, with little expense uh, about uh, beginning the game. Anyway, the, mo the cards itself are not bad. There are specific ones for the Sepulchre Guard itself and the ones that are more general so can be used also in other factions about the game of uh, Shakespeare uh, factions. And here we can see the second part of the deck itself that includes the charters, the cards of the charts itself inside here so you can see the different uh, cards and so on that are corresponding to the models that are inside this box and the other cards that are the ability commands and traits and so on that can be played and if you play Shakespeare you can decide if they're useful or not and decide so if uh, it's uh, something to add or substitute with other things anyway they are not better at least as designs of the cards itself and first that I forget about it behind the front part of the cards itself there is the other part of the charts bonuses and the profiles itself so uh, you can have uh, them reanimated or use them for potential magnified uh, and so on. Anyway, it depends uh, how you play the shit part game, so you can value if the, it's useful or not about them. And here we can talk uh, a bit uh, faster about the quality of the cards itself. Sincerely, I found them not so good. They seem uh, they almost the fake cards about Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh and so on and they are not so good I think so I suggest sincerely to buy the shield protectors in the way that you can put them and protect the cards itself otherwise I think that they will not resist quite a long in good shape and so here you can see what there is inside the box itself, the cards and the models itself. Sincerely, I suggest you to buy this even if it's not so cheap anyway considering the amount of models that you find inside. But anyway, because the quality of the model itself and the quality of the cards, I think, playing only a bit at Shakespeare, at least or for the cards about Shakespeare or at least for the models, I suggest you to buy them. From Dynamod it's everything, I invite you to put a like on this video, to subscribe to the channel, to ring the bell and to comment this video if you are interested in something about this video or you want to suggest me some arguments for other videos. I hope to see you again, to the next time!